hello, didn't see you there. That was gay. Okay, um, anyways. So, as you can see probably by that, we're going to be making that today. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty cool. You know, and stuff. Alright, let's jump into it. So, I am going to go into Sony Vegas and pull your clip in, which I'm going to be using the same one as previously shown. <laughs> I'm smart. Okay. Um, so... What we need to do is get to a part where the gun is still and it's not all blurry. Like, I'll show you an example of that. Like, right there. It starts to get kind of blurry. So you can see, like, double vision kind of. So I'm going to go back to around this part. That's pretty good. So now you're going to make sure the clip is selected. And you're going to click S to split it. And then you're going to click this little floppy disk button up here. And what that does is it takes a snapshot. And sure, I'll just name it image one. Why not? That'll be fun. Okay. So now that we have that, we're just going to smoosh this down because we're done with it for a while, you know. Okay, so now drag it into Adobe After Effects. Like a deus. Now I'll make a new composition, and I'm going to go to Comp Settings and make it... Uh, 602 is pretty good, I guess. That would work for us. So I'll just leave it at that. Alright, now what we want to do is we would like to take this little pennular tool, or G, like that oh that's magical okay um and what we're gonna do is remember you can zoom in on adobe after effects and stuff so i'm gonna we're gonna wanna we wanna basically trace around the outside of our gun or not our not well whatever you wanna trace like i'm gonna trace around the guy's hand and i'm doing a sloppy job because this is for the tutorial so I'm, i don't wanna make it go too long so you know do better than me please because you'll bring shame to my family if you don't that was if that made sense to you, any of you guys, you know. Okay, yeah, so I'm doing a really bad job, as you can tell. And so you just want to trace around every little detail of the gun, basically. And it's uh, control Z, that was way too bad. Okay, uh, la 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 la. La, 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 la. So you don't want to, well you can if you want, but I don't think, I don't know, I haven't tried, honestly. Like, don't close the mask. Just do not do it, or you'll die. Okay. So now what we want to do is, with this layer selected, go to Effect, Generate, right there, and go down to Stroke. <coughs> this is a pretty nifty little effect. So now what I like to do with the brush size is I like to make it around 5 to 6. And as you can see, um, it's just kind of a nice little white outline. So as we play through this, you'll see it just kind of sits there. It's all lame and stuff. So I'm going to come down. I'm going to come down to the effects on this effects a stroke and I'm gonna go and you get it to where you get all these little nice sexy little stopwatches okay so what do we want to do is let's see we want the end to start all the way down so we're gonna keyframe that and then about halfway through so at three seconds around we're gonna set it um, all the way up to a hundred so now what you get is as you play through it I'll show you real quick you just get that little doodle and it doesn't look too bad because of the brush size it kind of just n notches out the little parts that you kind of missed or went too much on so it looks it looks pretty good and then right here we want to keyframe our start so that it well if you want it to go like if you want it to come like this and go boo -doo 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 -doo, and then have it um start disappearing up this way like I'll show you an example real quick so go to the very end and then just keyframe this all the way up to 100 so now what we get is after it renders okay so we get this little doodle and it just kinda comes back up like a this okay so I am gonna actually I'm gonna move these back to around two seconds so I can get the little as you can see see in the clip I showed you at the beginning of the video the little thing comes out of the barrel and it says what the gun is so that's what we're gonna do okay so that means I'm gonna have to move the start of this all the way up here because if you have the start back here uh... what where did it go undo okay so if we have the start like all the way back here then what you're gonna see is it's not a full thing it just kind of you can do that as an effect if you really want but I mean I don't like that honestly it's not like complete it just kind of disappears if that makes sense okay so I'm gonna move that forward to like there and then what I have is I want it to kind of freeze just like stop and then just keep going and go off the screen. So I'm gonna move that to around four. So we get a good two solid seconds of doing this. And sorry if I check my time too much because I do not want to go over and make these tutorials too long. Take up your social lives. Okay, so 
Now what we're going to do is we're going to right click and click new. Make sure this is selected. Right click new uh, adjustment layer. And now we want to do the same thing except for, with the pen tool. So we're going to take it and I'm going to trace up out the barrel like that. And then I want it to go out here. But I want it to be straight. So I'm just going to, you can just press control Z to undo it and just until you get it straight or however you want it. And I don't want to be perfect, so that's that's fine, I guess. But no, it's not. I'm retarded. Hold on. Okay, so it needs to come out of the barrel. So we'll start it like right there, and then we'll go like right there, and then like there, and then like there. No, you know, whatever. What? Whatever. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. I'm a perfectionist. So you know what? No. Okay. Whatever. Okay. So <laughs> now what I want to do is. Once again, you want to add effect. Um, I'm so, I, I really do apologize for this, but it's driving me insane. Okay, I'm just going to start it like there, and then like that, and then like that. 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 Okay, whatever. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, so now I'm going to come to my text objects, which is this little T thing for text. And then you're just going to click like above the line. It doesn't really matter because you can move the text around. And I'm just going to type AK-47. And uh, my font is Action Man. If you don't know how to install fonts, then go look up, look up a guide. Because most of the default fonts are kind of homosexual. But anyways, okay, so now that that's done, I'm just going to unselect it. And now I'm going to, um, we're going to go out to here. Tell whenever that, oh, I didn't add the effect for the mask. I forgot to do that. Okay, so transform, not transform, text, not text. Balls. Oh, it's on adjustment layer, sorry. Okay, now I'll just click M for mask and then select the mask again. Go to effect, generate, stroke. And set this up to 5 like it was before on the other one. And 4.9 is fine. Um, the brush hardness, I don't like it too much. Usually I forgot to change it on the other one, but you know. Okay, so now what we want to do is basically we're going to do the same thing with this mask. Except for kind of opposite I don't really know how to explain that but um okay so now we're gonna go to effects on this the, this one and click on stroke again and we're gonna keyframe end and basically okay so go to the beginning and I'll change end to zero like that and then we're gonna come out to where this is to where this mask completes it's like circle around the gun and then right on that frame you're gonna set the end on this one all the way up so that they kind of do it at the same time so it's like actually what we want to do is as this line passes right here then this one starts going up so we'll basically just take this up and we'll go out until it gets there so it gets there around that area 19 seconds so we'll just put that in there and then as you can see it kinda comes together rather nicely and then when this one starts fading away like right there we're gonna keyframe the start and then we're gonna go to the end where it stops and then we're gonna keyframe this to 100 so now we're gonna go back to the text and I'm gonna go out to here so I can rearrange this on the line exactly like that would be good I guess right there okay so now what I wanna do is I wanna keyframe the text so that it doesn't just kinda sit there in midair and look stupid so what I wanna do is right when you see it like this little line kinda come up and land like right there kind of at the beginning of your text you're gonna wanna keyframe the opacity um, right here and put it all the way down to zero and then you're gonna move one frame forward by clicking that doodle and then you're gonna type in 100 or whatever and so now as you can see it just kind of comes up and then boom it's there and then now when it starts to go away like it comes up and then like right there it starts to go away we're gonna keyframe it again um, I'll just set this to 99 so it creates a new keyframe and we'll go one frame forward and we'll set it to zero so basically what we have is this and this is the end of the tutorial that's it um, if I forgot anything because I forget stuff because I'm slightly retarded then you know just tell me and holy crap this is longer than I thought it would be okay I'm sorry I'm gonna go um, I'll show it one more time at the end so peace remember request your tutorials Bye-bye.